Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, I will show you how to customize your website's header and footer. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. And next, we want to change the header with the Astra header builder. But before we can do that, there is something I want to show you. Next, go to Appearance, Menus, click on View All, select Privacy Policy, and add it to the menu. Now, we will remove this later, but for the time being, just click on Save Menu. Now, let's go to Pages. And first of all, I'm going to open the home page. So click on Edit. And here, if you click on the Asset Theme Settings, then go to Advanced Settings, you can see that the transparent header is enabled. Keep that in mind. Let's close this. Let's go back and now hover over the privacy policy. Click on edit and same thing. Let's go and open the Astra settings. Click on advanced settings and you can see here that the transparent header is not enabled. And once again, keep that in mind. So let's go back, then go to Astra, customized. And as you can see here, both the logo and the menu are perfectly visible. But now let's click on the privacy policy page. And as you can see, the logo doesn't make sense. Now the menu does, but just imagine we had different colors like white or light gray for a transparent header. It wouldn't work here. And that is simply because the Astra WordPress theme comes with a standard header and a transparent header. So we need to make changes so that it works in both scenarios. So since we are on a page that does not use the transparent header, let's start with the standard header. So click on Header Builder, then Primary Menu. Next, click on the Design tab, and let's select a menu hover style. Right now it's set to None, let's change it to Zoom In. Next, let's scroll down, and you want to make sure that the text color for the normal state is set to color number 4, and for the hover and active state, set to color number 2. Next, click on Menu Font. Let's scroll down, and for the font size, you want to type 13 and also select uppercase. Awesome. And by the way, the way we got here was through the side navigation, but we could as well have just hovered over one element, like for example here the menu, and just click on the little pencil icon. All roads lead to Rome. Now let's go back and next you want to click on side title and logo. And we're going to change the logo. And here in our media library, let's select the dark version of our logo. Click on Select, skip cropping, and there you go. Now it makes more sense for a page that doesn't use the transparent header. Now while we're at it, let's scroll down, click on Site Icon, select Site Icon, and let's select our Site Icon from the Media Library. Click on Select. So now this is what the website visitors will see in their browser tab. Let's click on Publish to save our work. Now let's go back, Header Builder, and this time let's click on Transparent Header. And to make things more obvious, let's click on the Home, because the Home is using the Transparent Header. Next, click on the Design tab, and for the text color, make sure the Normal State is set to Color 2, and the Hover State is set to Color 6. So right now it makes our menu not visible, but that's simply because the current images are with a light background, whereas the images we're going to use in the rest of this website are with a darker background. So if you want to use a transparent header for your website, this is the type of things that you need to consider. Now if you look at the bottom of the screen, we have a representation of the header builder. Here we have our site title and logo, then our primary menu and our button. And we can just drag and drop elements. So as you can see here, I've changed now the navigation is here and the button is here, but it doesn't really make sense, so let me put it back. But for example, I could say, hey, I want the button here on top, and there you go, or I want it at the bottom. So you get the idea. It's drag and drop, all you need to do is let your imagination flow. Now, with this web demo, everything is already set and studied to convert, so the best thing to do is to actually leave it as it is, at least for the time being. Okay, there's two more things we need to take care of. 
The first one is we're going to change the width of our header. So for that, we're going to go back one step, then go to design. And where it says width, instead of content width, we're going to change it to full width. Awesome. Another thing we need to change in our header is our call to action so that we can maintain brand consistency with the type of buttons that we will put in the content pages. So for that, we're going to hover over the call to action button in our header and click on the pencil icon. So by default, you may land on the general tab. So all you need to do is click on the design tab. Next, where you see text color, we're going to pick color number six. And for the hover color, we're going to pick color number nine. Next, where you see background color, for the normal state, we're going to pick color number five. And for the hover state, color number one. And the same thing for the border color. Color number five for the normal state and color number one for the hover state. Next, where you see border radius, you wanna click on the link icon and then we're just going to type 90. So now we got 90 all around and as you can see, it's now a rounded button. Now this was just about the cosmetics, but right now the call to action button is linked to a phone number, which means that when clicked, it will try to launch the phone app of your system. And we will keep it like this for the rest of the tutorial. But in case you want to link to a page, here's how to do it. So go back to the general tab and let's change this label. Contact, for example. Then in WordPress, you want to go to pages, all pages, and then hover over the name of the page you want to link to and right click on view. And then just click on copy link. Next, go back to the Astra customizer and where it says link, we're just going to replace it by the link we just copied. And now, if you click on contact, it will take you to the contact page. So you get the idea. But as mentioned for the rest of this tutorial, we will keep the full number call to action. All right, so let's publish our work and let's go back to WordPress by clicking on this icon. Now let's go back to appearance, menus, and click on the little arrow next to privacy policy and click on remove. Next, click on save menu. Next, let's take care of our footer. So in WordPress, you want to go to Astra, Customize, then click on Footer Builder. And the Footer Builder is pretty much like the Header Builder. Very similar. So here is the visual representation of our footer. Click on the gear icon, then click on the Design tab. And where it says Background, you want to select color number four. Next, you want to click on Footer Menu, Design tab. And for the link text for the normal state, you want to select color number two. And for the hover and active states, you want to select color number five. Click on publish. Next, you want to hover over the logo and click on the pencil icon or click straight here where it says HTML1. And this, by the way, is a widget. And you see in a moment that we can add and remove widgets. So I'm going to click on the logo here and just click on remove in the toolbar. Next, click on add media and I'm going to select the light version of our logo, click on insert to post, and there you go, we've changed the logo. So next where you see copyright, so as mentioned, this is a widget, I'm just going to hit remove, then click on the plus sign, and this time I'm going to select HTML2. Now there are other widgets like social, then you get widget one, two, three, and four, click on HTML2, now click on it one more time here, and here we can change the text. So I'm just going to remove all that and type privacy policy. Next, I'm going to select my text and click on the link icon in the toolbar. And then I'm gonna start typing the name of my page, privacy, and here it is. WordPress found it, so privacy policy, click on apply. And now we've linked to our privacy policy page. Click on publish. Now let's close the customizer then hover over the name of our website and click on visit site. And now, as you can see, even though the menu is not visible, but as I mentioned, we'll fix that in a later video in this course, we can see the zoom in effect when we hover over the elements and we have our logo here. Now let's scroll down and here is our footer that we customized. So as you can see, using a ready-made design was super easy with starter templates. And the same can be said for customizing your identity, your header, and your footer with the Astra Customizer. Awesome. Now in our next video, we'll take a look at the Elementor Builder basics.